welcome to another edition of Yacht Chris Weekly. Over the last week or so, we've had some really cool nights around the country. It's gone down to freezing. In the garden here, it's gone down to 5, 6 degrees, with the ground temperature about 3 degrees. And it hasn't been anything that's really affected any of the plants. As you can see, we've still got lots of flowers flowering, we've got lots of leaves growing, and we haven't got any damage to any plants due to cold weather. It's still too early to really do much in the garden in terms of winter protection. Like you saw last week, I took some cuttings of the irisene, but even the irisene plants that have been left in the ground are completely fine, not been touched by the cold. Because although we've had some cold nights, we've had some warm days and a few warm nights as well. So the weather looks still fine as we uh, record this. So there isn't a lot yet to do in terms of winter protection, but there are things I want to show you in the garden today. And they are the things that have done really well this season and also the plants that have done really poorly. So let's have a look around the garden. So one plant that's grown really, really well is my jubea. Obviously it's settled in now, it's been in the ground for five years, got its roots down, been a long hot summer, and it's grown 10 leaves. I'll just count them with you. So we've got pretty much here, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. This is the ninth one, and this is the tenth one here. So, ten leaves. Obviously, the middle two are not quite out yet. That is amazing because the other palms, Trachycarpus, don't even get ten leaves so far in the garden. So, it's done fantastically well. Love this weather, and hopefully, in a few years' time, it'll start bulking up so much that it'll actually start growing upwards rather than outwards. So another palm that's done really well is the Brea amata, because although it's spear pulled, so the centre was pulled away because of rot in spring, it's grown six new leaves, which is really good going, saying it started this really sort of middle end of May after the spear pull. So please, it's looking back to its former glory. A plant that hasn't done too well is this Berinda 1046 bamboo. Although it's looking lush and green still, we've had no new culms grow to full height this year. The ones on the far right, so this one and this one are new that have started but really haven't got to their full potential and pretty much aborted at about a metre and a half tall. So all the culms you see are from the last couple of years. So maybe it's been too warm for this this year, which it didn't like, and too dry. Or maybe it's because I divided part of it to plant over here. I'm not certain. But it's not been a good year for the Rinda 1046. It's certainly been a great year for riciness. The leaves are so big I can't fit them in the frame all in one go. As you can see they've grown tall, the leaves are huge and they've just got on with the nice warm weather we've had. So hopefully we'll get lots of seeds off these and they'll grow just as big next year. As it was such a warm, hot and dry summer, as you can expect, the arid plants have done particularly well. The Gave Americana recovered is growing into a substantial plant now in the middle here. The Gavi Montanas have got bigger and bigger and the yuccas have done excellently this year. So the yucca rostrata there is a huge globe now on top of its trunk and just across we've got the yucca linearis that's really settled in after planting last spring getting a nice spherical blue look to it and the same with the Dissilarions there they've really come on and if we pan round we can see that the other yuccas here got the yucca faxonia 
is huge now, really wide, very stiff leaves, grown lots and lots of leaves this year. The Chemerops pattern behind has grown well, as has the blue Disillerion here as well. So it's been a fantastic year for the arid part of the garden. Now it's not been a great year for this type of amaranthus that I grew from seed. It's the first time I've grown it and it's amaranthus joseph coat. It's multicoloured leaves. It's just it's just not done much really. It's only about 30 centimetres high. And yes it has been attacked by slugs a bit. And I grew several of these around the garden and this is this is the best one. It's just not done anything. It's been watered, it's had the warmth in the garden and it's just not grown for whatever reason. It's not one I'll be trying again. Obviously the other amaranthus around the garden has done spectacularly well at over a metre point eight tall. Now this banana I grew from seeds several years ago and it's Musa Atai Black. I was hoping it was going to be the same as Musa Thai Black which is a far more robust plant with a black stem. This does have a blackish stem when it's a bit older, but it's just such a slow grower and it's a really, really thin pseudo stem. Leaves don't really do much, so it's been very disappointing this year and previous years to be honest. So this one will not be saved over winter, this will be dug up and composted. It's not really added much to the garden, so that won't be a plant that I try again. Palms in general have done really good in the garden, including this Trachycarpus oreophyllus, which has produced six leaves this year. A stunning blue-white underneath, lots of finely divided leaves. So that one's done great, but it's not just the Trachycarpus. The Bootiers also, like this one here, has put out several big, strong, healthy leaves. It's been such a good year, such a good growing year for palms as long as it's been well watered, which I've been managing to do with the irrigation system. Now there is one exception to the palm success stories, and that is obviously the one that didn't make it. This is Raya edulis, which looked rubbish before Christmas last year, and it's completely died off. We saw it back here, hoping to save it, but as you can see, there's no life in that whatsoever. So I'll dig this up over winter and we'll plant a replacement palm. And after a worrying start to the season with the tree ferns because of the cold winter and lots of the knuckles blackening off, I have to report they've all actually grown well. Decent sized fronds, nothing spectacular because they were only planted last year. But they've all fronded out well and they've all grown well this summer having been watered well every day so hopefully next year they'll really take off unless we get a really bad winter and we'll get full length fronds for the first time with these tree ferns and last but not least I have to mention the eucalyptus at the back of the garden which as you can see is now absolutely huge. Hard to estimate how tall it is, but I'm guessing it's about what eight, nine meters tall already. That's gunny eye there. So that's well higher than anything else around it for miles. So hopefully it won't succumb to any winter storms. But that has grown amazingly well. Again, that's been irrigated since midsummer. Thank you for watching this edition of Yacht Chris Weekly on this beautiful sunny day. Join me next week where I'll actually be doing some jobs in the garden.